Hey everyone, it's Karen again with Big Cartel Support Team. Today, we are gonna talk colors, as in theme colors. We're gonna take a look at the design area, in particular the color picker and color fields. So we're here on the account page, and to get to the design area, I'll just scroll down a little bit and click Customize Design. I'm using Lunch Break, and I am going to skip the header image and slideshow images since we are focusing on color, and I'll hop down here to the color section. A side note before we get started, as we go through this, you'll notice that maybe the theme you're using doesn't have a header and footer background field, for example, like Lunch Break does. And that's just because all the built-in themes are different. And that allows you to create a truly unique look for your store. So if there is a particular element that you're looking for in a theme, just hop over to our help manual at help.bigcartel.com and search themes. You can check out and compare all of our themes to find the one that works best for you. Now all these colors that I'm using are the theme defaults, but I can change them to whatever I want. To do that, I'll just click a color field here and up will pop a color picker. I can use the color picker to play around with different shades of a color. So maybe for the background, I want an off-white that has just the tiniest bit of pink in it. I can drag this icon around until I land on a shade that I like. Like that. Or I may already have the exact color I want to use ready to go. I can just replace this color code here with the one that I want instead. You will want to make sure you have a hashtag here in front of your color codes or your changes will not take. So if you're going through and you're designing your store but you're noticing that your color changes are not reflected in your storefront, come back and check this field. You're most likely just missing the hashtag. So let's add that and see how that looks. That's, that's more than just a tiny bit of pink, but that's okay, these changes are not live until they're actually saved. So I can mess around in here as much as I want and my customers will not see what I'm doing. Now all these color fields in the list work the same way, so I'll just go down next up is header and footer background. Again, I can replace this color code if I want, or I can use the color picker until I find a shade that I like. When I get to the bottom of my list, then I can click save and only then will my changes be reflected in the storefront. Full disclosure though, I am not a natural when it comes to design. It, it can be really bad without help, I get pretty lost. So if you also have trouble finding colors that go well together, you can do a Google search for pre-made color palettes and you'll see a fair amount of results you can check out like colormind.io or colorhunt.co. I'm gonna switch over to Color Hunt and you can see that there are a lot of pre-made color palettes to choose from. So I'm gonna try this one. To find the color code, you just hover over the color and then click to copy it. So let's make this the background color. Make sure that hashtag stays put, or again, your changes won't take. Here we go. And let's do this for, let's try that for the header and the footer. And you'll notice that as I'm going, I am seeing an update in the design preview of all of my changes, which is awesome. So don't save until you know that you like this. Click around your store, click into the contact page, click into the product pages. Make sure you really like it before you save it. And if you find you don't like it as you go, just click exit and your changes will not be saved. You can start all over again. Let's see, let's do one more. There we go, that looks good. And frankly, I wouldn't have been able to come up with that color palette on my own. Um, I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions about the design areas tools or anything else Big Cartel related, just reach out to us at support at bigcartel.com. Or if you're logged in, you can send us a message by clicking that speech bubble at the bottom right in the admin. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.